the countries that an adjudicator was assigned in for the worldwide walk to fight poverty was Ontario, Canada. Arnie Aquino and Sheena Fortuna reports. Thousands of members and friends of the Church of Christ gather at the Port Union Waterfront Park for a charitable event called Worldwide Walk to Fight Poverty. At exactly 6 p.m. Eastern Time today, the walk was simultaneously done in more than 350 sites, 44 countries, and 18 time zones as an attempt to record the largest charity walk in 24 hours in multiple venues for Guinness World Records. The event is organized on a global scale to make a real impact on the communities being challenged by poverty, food, insecurity, or lack of livelihood. Here at the Port Union Waterfront Park, behind me is Lake Ontario, and up ahead is the Meadering Trail, where the participants will complete the 1.6 kilometer stretch of an extraordinary public space. An added bonus for this charitable walk is a lovely backdrop of blue waters of Lake Ontario and its cobblestone beaches. We're very excited to join um, this day, the Worldwide Walk. I participated in this uh, church activity uh, and I'm proud to be part of the cause to fight poverty. People of all ages, families, friends, all wearing the uniform shirts are showing the excitement to this event. Everyone seems to enjoy the weather, the scenery and the breeze coming from the Lake Ontario. Right now, the focus is on the organization of a huge crowd in conducting a charitable event of the Church of Christ in this vibrant city of Toronto. Representing their unity in leading a campaign to fight poverty is a worldwide walk conducted simultaneously in 100 other major cities of the world. Members of the Church of Christ will attempt to mark this event as a milestone and submit to Guinness World Records. This is their way of giving everyone a sense of community. I'm Sister Roma from uh, local of Victoria and they are my guests. Uh, this is Diana from um, Colombia. Colombia and Sonia from India. I'm so glad to be here and participate in this event. Yeah, I'm glad that I'm participating in something that's going to be for a good cause. Driven by the love for fellow men and the desire to help, the Church of Christ has organized a movement like this walk to create awareness on the plight of communities or even countries like Africa that are in need of jobs, of food, of opportunities that most people take for granted. It is very important for us to support people who are in poverty. So it can be in the Philippines, it can be in Africa, it can be everywhere. That's why this is very important today. The joint effort of INC members across the globe is one of many international campaigns of its socio-civic programs aimed to strengthen the bond between the congregations of the Church of Christ and the communities in which they serve. And I just want to say that on behalf of Guinness World Records, I'm honored that um, Iglesia de Cristo has invited me here today um, to take part in what is probably likely the biggest project and world record attempt I've ever been a part of. And it very well might be the largest record attempt Guinness World Records has ever been a part of. So I'm very proud to play a small role here and be here with everybody here in, in, in Canada, in Scarborough. Um, and I also think what's even more important is the, the project and what the overall mission of this record attempt is. is it's not about the record, but it's just the amplification of what the real mission, which is to, you know, their efforts to, to end poverty in Africa. And again, I'm very honored to be a part of it and very proud to be here. We're all doing this uh, to show our unity and uh, with the church administration to really have a heartfelt desire uh, to fight poverty, to help our brethren, to help our fellow man, because this is what we learn from the teachings of our Savior. Uh, those who have this world's goods don't hold them back from those who are in need. And whenever we can share and uh, be of help to our fellow man and our brethren, uh, well, here's the result. Strength in numbers, the crowd that we see here is one unified community engagement. A charitable event organized by the Church of Christ such as this plays a huge role in making the general public aware that there are indeed many who need help and that likewise there are many who are able and are willing to help.
Reporting from Port Union Waterfront Park, Toronto, Canada for the World Wide Walk EBC special coverage. My name is Arnie Aquino. And I am Sheena Fortuna. Always one with 25. 25.